All right, guys, so I'm going to show you how to remove a intake manifold on this 2005 Ford Freestyle with a 3.0 layer. I'm removing this intake manifold because I have to replace the ignition coil and the spark plug underneath this intake manifold. So as I do that, I'm also going to replace the intake manifold gaskets. These coils up here uh, are really easy to get to, but the ones in the back, you have to remove the intake manifold. So let's get this intake manifold removed. All right, so I'm gonna start by this side of the engine bay first before we remove this intake manifold. So I'm gonna remove this air inlet tube. So this is gonna come out. I can also remove the air filter box. So this whole thing is gonna come off. I'm also gonna remove this throttle body. Uh, the throttle body has got four liter, 10 mirror mirror bolt. So this one, and then there's another one over here. I'm gonna disconnect all these vacuum tubes. Okay, this one goes to the brake booster. No, actually this one goes to the brake booster. This one goes somewhere down there, I don't know. So these tubes, all these tubes will get disconnected and then the throttle body is gonna get removed. I'm gonna remove the throttle body because there is an EGR valve behind the throttle body that I have to disconnect. So getting the throttle body out of the way will just make it easier for me. And then we're gonna remove this mount right here. So I'm gonna undo this mount. And then after undoing this mount, I'm gonna undo this little bolts here, this intake manifold bolt. So those tiny bolts there that you see, there's one here, there's another one there, and another one here, and then we have more in these holes. I don't know if you guys can see, but if you look right in there, we have bolts. So one here, one there. There's another one at this corner. So right there, that bolt. And then there's another one right over there. I hope you guys can see that. So that one over there. So once we remove all these bolts off, our intake should be able to be lifted up. So I'm gonna sit you guys over here so that I can get all this stuff removed. This is pretty straightforward. Just disconnecting all these tubes and removing the throttle. Disconnect the throttle electrical connector right there. And then all this stuff will come out. So let's do that. All right, so I'm disconnecting the mass airflow sensor electrical connector. Let's get this tube out of the way. I'm gonna disconnect the battery first. So, so here comes the air filter box.
All right, so here comes the throttle body. So now I can see the EGR tube down there. Now I'm gonna undo that EGR tube. All right, so I got all these tubes here disconnected and the thorough body removed. So now I'm gonna undo this EGR tube. It is a 27 millimeter. So once I undo this tube, I'm going to disconnect the EGR connector back there. You, prob you probably won't be able to see it. So back there is the electrical connector for the EGR valve. And then I have more tubes to disconnect back here. And then I'm gonna remove the rest of the intake manifold bolt so that we can lift it. All right, so I got all the tubes around the intake manifold disconnected. I got the EGR tube disconnected as well. So now I'm going to undo the bolts that hold the uh, intake manifold on the lower portion of the intake manifold. So um, now let's do that. I'm just removing these little small bolts that I just showed you. Alright, so I undid all the intake manifold bolts, so our intake manifold should be ready to come out. So now here comes our intake manifold. so the intake manifold is out all right so after removing so now I'm ready to reinstall our intake manifold
right, so I have tightened all the intake manifold bolt. So now I'm going to tighten the EGR tube. I'm going to connect the EGR valve electrical connector. And then I will connect all these tubes around the intake manifold here. So all these hoses will get connected back up. And then I'm going to install the throttle body. And then the last step is going to be installing the uh, inlet air tube and the filter housing. So let's do that next. Alright, so I pretty much got everything back together now. The last item to install is the air filter box. So now I'm going to install it. Alright, so I got everything back together, so now I'm going to fill up the cooling system because there, there was, because there was a little bit of coolant that came out when I disconnected these coolant hoses that cooled down the uh, throttle body. So I'm going to fill that up and then we're going to start the car to see if we fixed it. So I'm going to do that and then I'll start it. <laughs> 